Okay, in this video we're going to look at some real life examples of multiplying and dividing mixed numbers. So here's example one, example two, example three, example four. Okay, and then uh, there's another little part to example four at the end, right? Okay, going to start with example one. And if a recipe calls for two and three quarter cups of flour, how much flour will be needed if the recipe is triple? Hmm. I need a cake three times the size, or I need three times uh, the those amount of waffles or pancakes or whatever, right? So if I'm going to triple, um, it's times tripling means multiplying by three, doesn't it? Okay. So what I'm going to do is take my two and three quarters uh, cups of flour and multiply that by three. So by all means press pause and see if you can get the answer. Or race me, see if you can do it faster than me, then just skip the video ahead a little bit and uh, see if you get the same answer. <coughs> okay, now I'll try it. So I'm gonna, first of all, I wanna change these guys to change the vote into fractions or mixed numbers, right? So let's see, four times two is uh, eight, and eight plus three is 11. So 11 quarters is what that is, 11 fourths. And three can be written three over one, right? Now, you're multiplying fractions here, you're allowed to cross cancel, but can we cross cancel anything? Nope, nothing to cross cancel, right? So 11 times three, 33, 4 times 1 is 4, and that's 33 quarter cups of flour, but uh, it'd be nice to put that in the mixed number because, you know, in real life, you know, how many cups of flour do we need? I need 33 quarters. That, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to people, does it? To communicate more clearly, we like to use mixed numbers lots of, a lot of the time. So what's 4 into 33 then? Let me ask you this, what's 8 times 4? Four? 4 eighths? It's 32, isn't it? <coughs> so 4 into 33 actually goes 8 times remainder, remainder 1. So 8 and a quarter. We need 8 and a quarter cups of flour if we're going to triple the recipe, right? Okay, let's have a look at this one. Example 2, if a recipe calls for 5 and a third cups of sugar, and uh, if you were only using half the recipe, how much sugar should you use? So I just want half the recipe. Interesting. Five and a third cups of sugar. Hmm. So I'm going to use less, am I? Die? So I'm going to take that five and a third, and I'm a, I'm going to make. I want the answer to be less than five and a third, right? Because I'm using half the recipe. So how do I get half of something? Well, one way of getting half of something is dividing it by 2. Does that make sense? If I divide it by 2, I'll get half of it. The only problem is now I've got a math problem with mixed numbers and that. So let's go ahead and do that. And the first step we've figured out is we've got to turn these guys into uh, improper fractions, right? So by all means, press pause and do it and see if you get the same answer as me. Or just kind of race me and then skip the video ahead or and then see if you get the same answer. So let's see, 3 times 5, 15. 15 plus 1, 16, right? 16 thirds divided by... And how can you write 2 as a fraction? 2 over... One, so I turn everything into fractions, you know, completely, and now I've got to. I'm dividing. So what do you do when you're dividing? Which one do you flip upside down? You got to multiply by this guy flipped upside down, right? Okay. So the interesting thing is that dividing by two turns into multiplying by a half, or getting a half of that, because you remember that of means multiply. So just an interesting point that dividing by 2, that operation is the same thing as multiplying by a half or getting um, 
one half of something. See, so I'm getting a half of this, which, you know, that's exactly what I want, right? Okay, so see if you can uh, cross cancel common factors there. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 16 goes 8 times. So I get 8 times 1, 8 over 3 times 1, 3, and that is, of course, as a mixed number. You wouldn't say, okay, we need eight thirds of sugar. You would say in 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 real life, you would say three and eight. That's two remainder two, two and two thirds. I need two and two thirds cups of sugar, right? Good deal. Let's have a look at example three. If a gallon of gas costs two hundred and thirty-seven and nine tenth cents, how much does half a gallon cost? Hmm. Two thirty-seven and nine tenths is the cost of a gallon. I want to figure out the cost of half a gallon. Hmm. How do I? What am I going to do? Um. Well, if you want to get half of a gallon, don't you have to? What are you going to do to this number to get half? you got to have to get half of this number, wouldn't you? Because a half a gallon is going to be half as much. It'll be half the price. How do you get half of something? Once again, you can take that and just divide it by 2. Does that make sense? Or, or you can say, I want one half of this number. So if I'm getting half of that number, it's going to be a half, and of means multiply, so it'll be half multiplied by 2, 3, 7, and 9 tenths. Well, either way, you'll get the same answer. So I'm just going to continue with it this way. I'm going to divide it by 2. So I'm dividing these numbers. I've got to turn them both into fractions. Okay, 10 times this is, in fact, um, 2, 3, 70. 10 times that is, is that, isn't it? You just add a 0. And then I'm going to add 9 to it, so I'll get 2, 3, 7, 9. So this is actually 2, 3, 7, 9 tenths divided by, and 2 as a fraction is 2 over 1. Okay? And I've got to then go 2, 3, 7, 9 over 10 multiplied by, flip this guy upside down, 1 over 2. So now, of course, I'm multiplying by a half, which is exactly what I'm doing here, multiplying by a half. If I wanted to get half of it, I would multiply it by half. Or I could have, like I said, divided by two, but in any case, you'll end up multiplying by half anyway, so it's all the same thing, right? Now, can you cross-cancel anything there? I don't think so. You see, this is, this is an odd number, and two doesn't go into an odd number. And the factors of 10 are 2 and 5, so 2 doesn't go in, but 5 doesn't go in here either because it ends in a 9. So we're stuck with having to uh, multiply this out. So 2, 3, 7, 9 times 1, 2, 3, 7, 9. 10 times 2, 20. <coughs> and to turn that into a mixed number, I actually have to do long division, don't I? So I've got to go 20 into. 2, 3, 7, 9. So 20 into 23 would be once. 1 times 20 is 20. Subtract. And I get 3. Take the 7 down. 20 into 37 is 1 time. 20. Subtract. And that gives me 17. Take the 9 down. 20 into that goes um, 9, 8 times. And 102, eight, 8 times 2 is 1660. Subtract that, and I get 1, 9. And so um, that's my remainder, right? So it's 118 and 19 twentieths of a dollar. That's what it is. Hmm. So I get 118 and 19 twentieth cents uh, for the uh, half a gallon, right? So that's a very uh, accurate um, 
that's a very accurate uh, uh, calculation there isn't it <laughs> maybe a little bit little bit too accurate for most most everyday pur purposes I'd say so basically it's, it's obviously approximately 119 cents or a uh, dollar 19 approximately right So example four, if it takes one and two third yards of material to make a scarf, how many how much material will it take to make five scarves? Press pause and see if you can get that answer. Any idea? How about we take the one and two thirds for material for one scarf and multiply it by what? Multiply it by five, right? Now, if I'm multiplying these funny uh, mixed numbers and stuff, I've got to put them in, uh, write them as improper fractions, right? So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 5, so we've got 5 thirds multiplied by, and write 5 as a fraction, 5 over 1, okay? Now, does anything cross-cancel there? You can only cross-cancel numbers on the bottom, but numbers on the top, so no, you're done, right? So multiply the top the, across, 5 times 5 is 25, 3 times 1 is 3, and now write that as a mixed number. So you wouldn't say I need 25 thirds yards of material as a mixed number, you would say 3 into 25 goes, uh, 8 times, isn't it? eight and one third. You would say I need eight and one third yards of material, right? Let's see this little part here. How much will the five scarves cost if the material costs four dollars per yard? How would you work that one out? How, mu how many yards do you need for the five scarves? Five scarves we just got that, didn't we? We need eight and one third yards. Okay. So at four dollars per yard, don't we multiply all the yards times the four dollars, right? So we go um, basically four dollars times eight and one third yards, right? right. So I need to turn these guys into um, mixed numbers, right? Or sorry, improper fractions. So like just 4 over 1 times 3 eighths is 24, 24 and 1 is 25 thirds. And can I cross cancel anything? Nope. So I just multiply the top 4 25's is what? And 1 times 3 is 3. So 4 times 25 is? 100, right? And you wouldn't say I need a hundred thirds dollars now, would you? You'd say I need 3 into 10 goes 3 times remainder 1. 3 into um, 10 again goes uh, 3 times and uh, remainder 1. So I'm getting 33 and one third, okay, and that's dollars, 33 and one third dollars, or a third of a dollar, by the way, of course, is about 33 cents, isn't it? So anyway, 33 dollars, 33 cents for the for the uh, five scarves.